Nigerians have been advised to leverage on non-cash options, account-to-account -account payments in the wake of the heightened Naira crunch. Tech experts gave these options at an event held recently in Lagos. Plus, TV News correspondent Destiny Momo filed in this report. The revolution in the technology world has brought intentional change to businesses. However, the only setback is that Nigerians have not fully embraced easy options that technology has brought. Convener of this tech fest, Jamu Ijaodola, as well as other speakers, elaborate on the need to build a collaborative approach towards strengthening the tech ecosystem. I mean, tech businesses are building solutions, but there's much more of lack of collaboration between them. So we believe platforms like this are, are definitely important to build much more partnership across businesses that are working in the tech ecosystem. Quite, quite fairly, I mean, tech is revolutionizing how businesses are done, from how you are making payments to basically how you are doing all of your activities. So platforms like this are important for these businesses to showcase the solution. This event is, is simply free to attend. The, earlier today I spoke about collaborations, right, with my keynote, keynote address. So one of the things we discussed is creating a platform where tech um, companies can come together and collaborate instead of compete. You know, everybody is building something to solve a particular problem, but then when you come together, you have an idea of what that person is doing, what you are doing, that you can combine it and create a viable solution for businesses. They give more solutions to Nigerians on the present Naira crunch. This is through card, uh, online card not present, as well as mobile money uh, payments, that is wallet to wallet payments. Uh, we are also looking at integrating with NEEDS so that we are able to offer account-to-account -account payments and so that we are able to meet the SME at their point of need where they need uh, to collect money without having to collect hard cash. So those are solutions that we already have in the market and we are looking forward to providing to the medium and SMEs. So in the past few weeks, you've seen cases where people transfer money and money did not drop at all where banks have a misbehaving and all of those things. So it's a, it's a really a core thing that we now need to look into and see how we can actually solve some of this problem, still using technology. So you can see it's, it's a very, very key thing. And there are so many things that can be done, right? Are things like having proper lengthy management solution in place, things like having proper frog detection and prevention in place. So these are some of the things that we'll be sharing uh, inside into. Last week, the Supreme Court gave an interim order barring the federal government from implementing the 10th February deadline set for the use of the old nodes. However, despite the order, most banks and businesses have stopped accepting the old Naira nodes as legal tender, despite the scarcity of the new ones. It is of note that only the 200 Naira nodes and other lower currencies will be available for use. Destin Mamo, Plus TV News.